The Hover Air X1 Pro and X1 Pro Max both have Remote ID thanks to a recent firmware update. In this video, I have three objectives. First, I'll show how to update the firmware and find the Remote ID number. Then, I want to see how far away this drone can track me on my bike. And finally, I want to check if 8K mode has been fixed, and if so, if there are any issues still remaining. There will be timestamped chapter markers so you can skip ahead to whichever section is relevant to you. In your app store, search for Hover X1. Update the app if you need to, or just open it and log in. Tap on the lower right icon, which says me, then beacon firmware and continue the download process. When it was finished, I turned on the beacon, swiped down from the top and tapped update. You can choose to update from the drone itself or from the app. I chose the app. So I disconnected the beacon from the drone and then scanned the QR code to connect my phone to the beacon. The firmware transferred to the beacon and began to install. At that point, I connected the drone to my phone and a prompt popped up to update the X1 Pro Max. So I started that process. Then I went back to the beacon, which was done with its update. I swiped down again, tapped on update, and then connected the joystick. And looking back, I really only needed to connect the right hand side. But once it was connected, I tapped update now. The drone was still working on its update, so I let it finish. Now that it's done, I'll show you where the remote ID number is for registration with the FAA. In the Hover app, tap on the lower right icon, and then My Hover. I had to reconnect my phone to the drone, so I tapped Reconnect, and I also turned off the beacon. I put the drone into pairing mode by pressing and holding the left and right buttons on the drone, and then it connected with my phone. I tapped the X1 Pro Max's name, and here is where the remote ID serial number is. Now, just out of curiosity, I wanna see how far away I can track myself on a bike with the Hover Air X1 Pro Max. I'm going to set it to follow me from a far distance, but I've also got Copilot turned on, so that way I can manually adjust the distance and hopefully find the point at which it will no longer track me. Left joystick down to go back, it says that's my limit reached. Now if I swipe from the right side, it doesn't actually show me the distance away from the beacon, it just shows the distance away from the home point. Because right now it's showing 16, 17 meters. Even though I changed the uh, parameters in the app to be feet instead of meters, it's still showing meters here. If you want to know how far away it's following me from, let me go ahead and pause for a second right here. So it's about four parking spaces away. That's the maximum distance that the hover can follow. Let me actually do a, an 8K recording test. In our previous tests, 8K has struggled to record for longer than maybe a minute, if that. Now we got this drone at the beginning of the summer, so it was always pretty hot out and it's a black drone. And so I believe the 8K failure was mostly due to it overheating. And now the weather's getting cooler. So I feel like if this 8K recording does not fail. Maybe this drone is only an 8K drone if the temperature is like below 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you want to use it in the summertime, it's a 4K drone, but in the winter, it's an 8K drone if you want that. But I like recording at 60 frames per second and 8K is limited to 30 frames per second. Why am I recording for only three minutes? I have noticed that the recorded video file has restarted. I'm not sure if that's an 8K thing, but in the past, when a file has restarted in 8K mode, it usually reverts back to 4K. So I'm going to stop recording and then check if we are indeed still in 8K or if we've gone back to 4K. We're still in 8K. Okay, that's good to know. Well, I am pleasantly surprised that the 8K recording lasted so long. I'll have to double check that the restarted files didn't drop any frames. I'll put text on screen if it did. But I would like to point out one thing. Here in the US, if you want to fly over people commercially safely, the props have to be protected and you have to get special permission if the drone is over 250 grams. The Hover Air X1 Pro Max is well below 250 grams 
and because it has a remote ID, it is now ready to go for commercial purposes without needing an external module on it. If you needed to get shots flying over people commercially, the X1 Pro Max is the way to go. And the camera quality is pretty darn good. All right, and that's all I have to say about that. Thanks for watching Ready, Set, Drone.